music was always around since being super, super little, and song and, and dance and, and just all the arts. And so I would just sing all the time. And I, I at a young age, listened to a lot of musicals or, or classic ones, Sound of Music and My Fair Lady. And I think it started by hearing that. And then I went to voice lessons and always did um, classical guitar and classical voice. And then uh, I went to an arts high school called uh, Los Angeles County High School for the Arts. There I did, they didn't have classical guitar, so I was a voice major. And I did um, classical voice, opera, and um, also jazz voice. That's actually where I discovered jazz. Um, I had a, just, it was a really, really strong jazz school. Made a lot of jazz friends and entered in this um, improv class. And at the time I was just completely swamped. Like, I didn't know how to uh, transcribe solos or who to even listen to. But it kind of opened my mind and opened my ears to a whole other genre. And I think from there, it really influenced actually my direction in even the classical world. I think when you look at my... I was going to say iPod, but then you can know how old I am. <laughs> or when you look at my iPod or, you know, my CDs in my car. Oh my god. <laughs> you see, it's like pretty much jazz so it's it's really stayed with me and I find that whenever I commission music and they ask like my influences of course I have my, my classical ones but deep down I think I, I I really find a lot of influence in that and it kind of even in the way I interpret uh, the Via Lobos that I did for the video um, it's it's a little bit it's taken in a bit of a jazz way as well I really have had such a wonderful experience so far. Everybody's so warm. And there's something about, like, just really, I bring it back to, like, the art and the kind of cafe life. And, and people are walking with beers. This would never happen. <laughs> and just, uh, I, I, I really feel like it's a beautiful walking town. And it's, it's only the beginning, this is day five, but I've seen so much. And, and actually I've been really um, moved by the history. And I've seen, I mean, it's just like, you can feel this new kind of developing uh, city that's just bustling with, with uh, opportunity and growth. And, and I think what I can tell so far is that it has this kind of a, a bit of an edgier flair, and it has some of the like an imprint of the city in the music and the art, which is to me really, really special and something that we don't have. So I recorded uh, Melodia Sentimental. Uh, which is a song by Via Lobos, and it was arranged by Sergio Assad, who um, is my teacher and mentor. He was really, I, I owe it really all to him um, for doing, pursuing voice and guitar, and uh, truly, it's, it's all thanks to him for, for kind of showing me that it's okay. Being different is okay. Being different, there's a space for that in the world, and that it might be harder, and the path might be a little bit hard because there isn't something already paved for you, and there isn't, you know, there aren't uh, kind of programs where you can specifically do voice and guitar. There aren't um, competitions for it, or the, so it's a bit, a little bit harder um, in that way, but. I feel like he always uh, encouraged being unique and not just for being the sake of being unique, but 
to really try to find your your own voice and your own artistic um, way in the world. I don't approach uh, my boy students and my girl students differently. Actually, when they walk in the room, you're teaching the, the, the child for who they are. And um, I think for the girls, and I've, I've thought a bit about this, for, for the girls, I think it's great to be um, hopefully a, a role model for them and to see that, you know, in a school where most of the teachers are male and, and when they look at the, the concert poster of who's coming to town, most 98% are all men. And I found that sometimes the girls don't listen to as much classical guitar music because when they're little, sometimes they do like to have this, like, oh, she's a girl guitarist, she's like me. and. Um, I, I make sure when I give listening lists or tell them about concerts that for the girls, I do show them girl guitarists to say like, hey, she's just like you. You can be like her one day and you can do it. And I feel like when they see that, they're, they just like light, their face lights up that, you know, she is wearing a beautiful dress, but she's playing guitar too. And, and um, they, they really, they, they respond well. And for the boy guitar, for the little boys that are studying, I don't treat them any differently either, but I think what's great for them is to see that 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 women can play guitar too. And I think when they're that young and they do have a, a you know a, a a lady guitarist teacher, they they don't know any differently. And that's just to them, it's kind of wonderful to see. It's just like, oh yeah, she's my teacher, and it's no different. So I think for, for the boys, it's kind of like showing them, you know, kind of just being a role model for them too. And they become a little more well-rounded. I feel like it's also a folky base. And I, I do come from, from California where um, there's so much folk music and actually I was raised on that and I was raised on Simon and Garfunkel and Joni Mitchell and to me that's like what I listened to that was my current music when I was like seven so quite dorky maybe that's such a dork but that's what I, that's what I grew up on and I feel like where I would love to reach non-classical audiences as well and kind of I have you know with this setup of playing via locals but it's also so folky too and it's something that's really special to my, to my heart and, and I would love to share that.